Trisha Shetty. Trisha Shetty is the founder of She Says, a platform to educate and empower women to take action against sexual assault in India. Anthony Ford Sherbrooke made legal history in the United Kingdom, lobbying for accessible education, today serves as the youth representative of Able Child Africa. Rita Kimani is the co-founder of Farm Drive, a social enterprise connecting unbanked farmers to credit in rural Kenya. Rainer Malal is the co-founder and president of AIM, an epidemiology company in Dominican Republic that predicts major disease outbreaks before they happen. Eddie Hamar is co-founder of Undress Runways in Australia, a leader uh, for the market of sustainable and ethical fashion. Vincent Loka is co-founder of Water Rome in Indonesia, a social enterprise that brings clean water to communities in postal disaster settings. Safath Ahmed Zahir is a women's rights activist from the Maldives fighting for more women in politics. Lutfi Fadil Lokman is the founder of Hospitals Beyond Boundaries Malaysia, empowering local communities to create sustainable healthcare solutions. Carolina Medina co-founded Agrupa, a startup making healthy food more affordable and accessible in Colombia. Jake Horowitz is the co-founder and editor of large of Mike.com, a news company based in the United States run by millennials for millennials. Shugat Nazbin Khan is the founder of HA Digital School in Bangladesh, using education as a tool to combat political violence. Samuel Malinga is the founder of Sanitation Africa in Uganda, increasing access to sanitation services and bringing the toilets closer to the people. Samar Samir Mezgani is a writer and Guinness World Record holder, advocating for youth empowerment in Tunisia and around the world. Ankit Kawatra is founder of Feeding India, rescuing waster food to serve over a million meals to hungry people. Nikki Fraser is a tireless advocate for the rights of indigenous women in Canada, leading, lobbying leaders such as Prime Minister Trudeau to take action. Karen Jarath is a scientist and inventor in the United States whose groundbreaking invention will contain oil spills at the source. And finally, Tere Gonzalez Garcia is the founder of Liter of Light Mexico, repurposing plastic soda bottles to create sustainable light sources. Please welcome the class of 2016. Please welcome back Mr. Ahmed Alandawi to deliver a message on behalf of the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Another round of applause, I would say, I mean, for this amazing talent. So. The Secretary General asked me to deliver this message on his behalf, so now I'll be reading his message, and you have to imagine the Secretary General reading it. <laughs> I'm pleased to warmly welcome the inaugural class of the United Nations Young Leaders for the Sustainable Development Goals. I thank the Office of My Envoy and Youth for launching this timely initiative to connect the United Nations with outstanding young leaders working for the SDGs. I congratulate these 17 young change makers who stand as a testament to the ingenuity of youth for their exceptional leadership and strong commitment. I also pay tribute to, the most, to more than 18,000 young people who were nominated during the campaign. They represent a deep pool of talented individuals already committed to the SDGs. We have a duty to unleash this talent and work with young people as we strive toward a sustainable future where no one is left behind. The announcement of this class of young leaders for the SDGs reflects the broader commitment of the United Nations to youth empowerment and leadership. It stems from our deeply held conviction that young people are a force for good, with the imagination, courage, to find lasting solutions to global challenges. Each of the young leaders has shown commitment to advancing sustainable development in their communities. Their work will serve to inspire many more young women and men everywhere who want to play their part in making a better world for all. 
including for young migrants, young people with disabilities, indigenous youth, and youth living in rural areas. Together, they show that young people are not just the leaders of tomorrow, but they are the leaders of today. Today, I join my envoy and youth in congratulating the young leaders and calling for a greater investments to help youth realize their potential. Working with and for young people, we can achieve the SDGs and create a more sustainable future for all. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll just take a photo.